Hello and welcome to another edition of Mixed Mowers. Today is not a very nice day, it's just started to rain and the wind's picked up. We've got some bad weather coming in over the next couple of days, so I do apologise for, for any wind interference you may experience within the sound. But I'll try and get this video done as quick as I can. Today we're going to be servicing a lawnmower that I sold to a gentleman, I think it was last year, could have been the year before. It's a Honda HR21, so it's one of the older style Hondas. Um, it's, it's fully running, he just said it's, it's a bit sluggish in places when he got it out of the shed today, so could I come round and give it a bit of a service. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's get this Honda HR21 service. <laughs> Here is the Honda. It's the Honda HR21 as I last said. I've just put the camera and tripod inside the shed to try and keep the wind out so you should be able to hear something. So literally I've just picked this lawnmower up from a gentleman's house, popped down to my local lawnmower shop and picked up a couple of spark plugs and some bits and pieces I'm going to need. So let's give this little Honda a quick little run up. It has been running so far this year. So let's get a little run up and see how it's doing. So as you can see this Honda fires straight up, it, it, it runs fantastic. Um, for an old style lawnmower, these are used commercially in the UK, um, the general councils and groundsmen use um, these mowers. They would have used these years ago, but obviously these are now since gone, but this one's running absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to let the engine run up for about five minutes to get ready to do the oil change. Fantastic, that's the lawnmower now been run up for about four or five minutes. I just made myself a little cheeky cup of coffee whilst I've been waiting. I'm now going to just undo the yellow tab on the side of the engine and suck the oil out of it. With the oil out I can then tip the lawnmower up on its side and take the blade off so I can sharpen that up and give it a general clean underneath. So let's get that done. Right, just undo this yellow tab. And that's got your dipstick on it. And then just put it in my suction tank all the way down and just start to suck the oil out. Super job, the oil's now all been sucked out with my suction tank and now with all the oil being removed I can now tip the lawnmower up on its side and remove the blade boss. So let's do that. Okay so I have just rigged up my patio umbrella. I don't know how long it's going to last in this wind but it is keeping me dry for a minute so Let's hope it continues. So I've turned the fuel off on this Honda and I've also removed the HT lead. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna undo these two bolts here, just here and here, and then 9 sixteenths. Once the blade's come off, we can then give the blade a nice new sharpen and then tidy up all this grass, give it a hose off and a scrape off to get all this debris underneath, especially within the back axle there where all the um, grass is all collected. So I'll undo those two bolts like I just said, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, that was a particular pig. This nut here didn't want to come off. I had to put, introduce some heat on there, some spray to get it off. It was particularly hard, but I got it off in the end. And as you can see, the blades have a nice, nice edge, both sides. They're not particularly sharp. They don't have to be, they just have to have a good cutting edge. So that's that done. And also I give it a nice clean all the way around. As you can see, these are aluminium decks on these. so. They're never really going to rust. They do corrode slightly, but they're never going to rust. But all the blades have been done, as they should do. I don't know if you can see the back edge there. But the back edge has been done as well. So they're all done. So let's tip this mower back on its on its wheels again. Right, we have a little mower back on its wheels. We can now start to introduce the new the new oil. And I just use a SEA 30 oil. I buy it in five litres because it's cheaper. And all we're looking to do is literally undo this little yellow cap 
just here. And then just fill it up to the maximum line just here. That's where we're looking to go. So I'll get a bit of rag, I'll get it filled up, and then we can move on to the air filter. Okay, so that's the all change now being complete. Just be very careful with the Hondas, especially the ones with the yellow dipsticks, because it's particularly difficult to see where the oil fill level is. So just put in very little, but very often, until you get up to a maximum level. Next, we're going to be moving on to the air filter change, and that's located just on the black box with the two wing nuts. the old air filter it doesn't look too bad but it is actually missing the the foam cover so that suggests someone's been in here there's a bit of all bit of all in on there as well so I'm not quite sure what's happened there but I do have a brand new air filter here this has a foam foam covering on the outside so all we have to do to fit this is literally just in reverse just sit, sit this filter back into the housing and put the cover back on and do it with two wing nuts Okay, and that's the new air filter now complete. As I say, it's just a reverse of what we did before. I had to make a slight modification to it because it was slightly somewhat different to the newer one. It came with a metal cover on the on the top, which didn't allow me to put the cover down. So what I had to do in the end was cut this sec cut this section out. If I find the old one, as you can see, it's completely hollow. But this one here, for some reason, it must be an upgrade or something. It come with two holes on here, so it wouldn't allow allow the collars to go past on the on the outer casing. So I had to make it fit. It does fit in there fantastic as it should, but literally I just couldn't get it to go past that those two lugs on that box. However, it's in there now, so I suppose items do change over the years, and this mower is certainly getting on in years. So okay, let me just do those nuts back up quickly and then we can move on to doing the spark plug. The spark plug, and let's have a little look to see what that looks like. If I can get it out of my spanner. There it goes. So, it's not too bad to be fair. It looks like it might be running a little bit rich, but it has not tipped up on its side, but there's a, a little bit of carbon on there. It's not shockingly bad, and these are the NGK's B2LM's. However, I didn't have the NGKs in stock, so he gave me these ones, which he recommends these are very, very good. And these are, um, I believe he said they're related to Briggs & Stratton. So he's a Torque GL2Cs. But uh, he recommends them. So let's give them a go. They are the same size, also complete the same reach, so for no longer. First time I've used them. Always put the spark plug in by hand. Just going to back it off just a touch. That's it, that's in. So just snug it up tight and then one good quarter turn. Then we can replace the spark plug HT lead. Right, so what have we done? We've done an air filter change. We've done an oil change. We've also done a spark plug change. We've taken the blade off, sharpened that up and give the underside a good, a good greasing. What I want to do is just double check that all, that all level one more time just before I fire this lawnmower up. So literally, as I said, just remove the all dipstick outside. It's so hard to tell because these are yellow. I'll soon figure out if I've overfilled it because it's a smoke. Better to have too much and not enough, I suppose. Trying to move it gently so I can see. Yeah, I'll say that's full. Hopefully, once I run a bit more, the all may change colour slightly and I get a much better indication, but it's definitely up to the full mark. Okay. Right, so I mustn't forget to turn that fuel back on before I start doing anything. There's fuel in the tank and the HTL is on. Let's give it a fire. 
chuck on. now all done up and running another happy satisfied customer hope you enjoy this episode of mixed mowers and i hope to see you again very very soon